Good evening. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. I-70 traffic this Labor Day holiday was pretty average. Nearly 189,000 vehicles passed through the tunnels Friday through Monday. That is barely busier than the past two summers and significantly slower than 2017, 2018, and 2019. Friday was the busiest day when nearly 20% of all traffic hit the road between noon and 9 p.m. Looking back on summer, I-70 started slow in June and July before ramping up big through August. 1.78 million vehicles traveled I-70 through Summit weekends only, 18,000 more than last summer, 113,000 fewer than 2019. Weekend traffic peaked in late July with just over 149,000 cars in three days. That was slower than last year's high mark, Father's Day weekend, by nearly 12,000. Summit officials had a whole lot of questions for CDOT today at their biannual meeting. CDOT had most of the answers. So what's being done about exit 205, the county's busiest intersection in Silverthorne? We're actually having a meeting this Friday. I believe it's with the town to talk through the scope of those improvements. When will Highway 9 get a chain up station in Blue River? Right now we don't have a schedule. I will say that the chain up stations in Park County are currently going in. So they will be coming over the pass with no chain down. CDOT calls that new station in Alma better than nothing. How is inflation impacting CDOT's budget? Typical problems we see, this is, it seems to be a little more, and it looks like it might be here for a little longer, you know, especially the asphalt prices right now. Uh, we're seeing some areas almost double. When will the work zone disappear on I-70 eastbound from Silverthorne to the tunnel? Our structure replacement at the 211 is wrapping up in the next two weeks. It'll be totally complete. What is the status of that new third lane on I-70 from Frisco to Silverthorne? We should be um, paved out on our widening It'll just be extra work for maintenance to get that plowed out. So then we'll resume in the spring, and that project should finish by this time next year. What has been causing power outages at the Eisenhower Tunnel? The tunnel isn't technically in Region 3. Mm -hmm. uh, it's over now in Region 1, but uh, we can do some legwork on it and get back to you. The 50-year-old tunnel is getting $150 million in coming years for behind-the-scenes work, like power and drainage. The messiest question came from Keystone local Christine Scanlon, who often braves the pedestrian crosswalk on US 6 and wants to know how they will fix it. I understand that CDOT's hands are tied with this, but that doesn't take away from the reality of how dangerous this intersection is. CDOT's response? It's really tough from our side to determine whether it's a perceived safety issue or if it's a, a true safety issue, if the data just really doesn't support that there is a safety issue there. Scanlon? was not happy. Waiting for more accidents to happen um, doesn't feel really terribly good to me. CDOT is ruling out a stoplight, roundabout, and speed limit changes. A pedestrian bridge would cost too much. Commissioner Tamara Pogue. There has to be another solution here beyond a $17 million over or underpaid pass. The solutions there for now are temporary. Moving a nearby bus stop, adding sidewalks, and using more cops for speeder control. Local fire danger is high today, just four days after it was low. Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimon says no fire ban yet, but it could be coming as early as next week. With the hunting season, uh, with what's going on with our fuel moistures and the no relief of the fire danger, I think there's a, a, a good likelihood that we will go into restrictions next week. Over 60 major fires have scorched the West this summer, none of them in Colorado. Idaho is bearing the brunt of fire season, with more fires than anyone else, burning hundreds of thousands of combined acres. Summit Sheriff's deputies arrested two people for illegal drugs last week, including one accused of supplying them to a minor. That man was busted early Sunday. He also earned obstruction charges. The other man was caught at a DUI stop with drugs and a bad license. In Dillon, Chief Kale Osborne says his officers handled more domestic violence calls than usual in August, making three arrests in just five days at one point. He says at least one of them was released on a PR bond, meaning no cash required. He believes this is a flaw in the Colorado justice system. The suspect was accused of strangulation. In sports, the Rockies play the Brewers today at 640. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos at their new location on Airport Road, the Tigers golf team was out at Vail Golf Club today. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.